What's up, Metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. And today we're going to take a look at six budget knives. Uh, these are going to range from price from around $30 up to around $80 and everything in between. And all of these are fantastic knives. And all are well worth the money, in my opinion. They all have great action, great ergos. Nothing to really complain about on any of these, honestly. Um, and we're going to start out with the Sincut Actium. This knife runs 40 bucks on Blade HQ. By the way, I am giving you the pricing off Blade HQ. I will link all these in the description below, but if they're cheaper on Amazon, I will link Amazon. I'll, I'll link them wherever they are the least expensive in case you're interested in picking them up. Uh, overall length on this knife is 7.99 inches. The blade length is 3.46 inches, and the weight is 3.88 ounces. It is right hand, left hand tip up carry, so you do have a reversible deep carry pocket clip. Stainless steel liners, G10 scales, you can get this in multiple colors. And uh, this is a fantastic knife, man. Fantastic ergonomics. You got a forward finger choil there and a little poon action with some jimping. Right here, you are just locked in. Uh, fantastic detent on this knife. Amazing detent. Civivi, we Sin Cut. They, they have really uh, dialed their detents in, and uh, it's rare to get one of their knives that has a bad detent. And this one's really good. Skeletonized liners keep the uh, weight down. Just a great knife for the money, man. 40 bucks. Yeah, I recommend it for 40 bucks. That's the Sincut Actium. Next up, we're going to go a little up on the scale with the Civivi Kojit. Uh, this, this is one here for the knife, so by the way. This is fantastic button lock action zero button stick fantastic ergos it is a uh, flipper only kind of you can use the flipper to deploy it or you can use the button to deploy it or this one's so good you can just reverse flick the crap out of it so easily even though there's not a fuller it's very easy to reverse flick without a fuller especially with that coated blade gives you a little extra traction uh, overall length on this is about the same size as the Actium, honestly. Uh, 7.88 inches, blade length is 3.47 inches. Uh, the uh, weight is 3.8 ounces. I think this was 3.88. So uh, this one's 14 C 28 in though. Blade HQ's price is right at $70, $69.50. I think they're a little less on Amazon if I remember correctly. But yeah, I'm not a button lock guy, or I wasn't a button lock guy. But I've gotten some here for the uh, knife cell, and I'm starting to like button locks. Maybe I've just got some bad ones, because uh, this one, the Kaiser Original, some of the others I've felt, the Kogs I've felt, yeah, they're really good. Um, yeah, maybe I just got some duds, and I should revisit button locks, because the uh, Civivi Kojit's fantastic. Um, G10 scales, stainless steel liners, reversible deep carry pocket clip, and amazing action, and a great ting. Hear that ting? Great ting on that knife. That's the Civivi Cogent. Next up, we have a knife that most of you know and have seen if you've been around knives for any time whatsoever. But i got to put it on a budget list because there are people that are, may come to this video and they're new and, and they're looking for their first knife to get into. They've been watching a lot of videos. And, what can I buy that's not too expensive that's going to be fantastic to, to get me uh, and a knife that will really get them into the community that they will fall in love with? The QSP Penguin. $32, D2 blade still. This one is on washers. These two are on bearings, by the way. But this is glassy, glassy, smooth washer action. Fantastic detent. You can get it with micarta, which this has red micarta, or many different scale options. Uh, the budget options are all D2, but there are more premium options. Uh, it's just an amazing knife. Overall length on this one, 7.125 inches. Blade length, 3.125 inches. The weight is 3.17 ounces. It is thumb stud deployment only. It is liner lock, just like the Actium. And yeah, I love the Penguin. I've had several Penguins. I've never felt a bad Penguin. Every Penguin, whether it's the budget versions or the premium versions, they have all been fantastic, and I highly recommend them. If you're new to knives and you're looking for one to get that you're going to be able to uh, easily learn how to thumb flick and reverse flick and enjoy it, and it feels good, it feels like it, feels like it should cost a lot more than it does, check out the QSP Penguin. It's an amazing knife. It really is. Still love the penguin. Probably always love the penguin. And at least own one or two. All right. Next up, we have a knife that was here for the knife cell. The O Knife Beagle. Uh, this is a knife that is actually uh, OEM by Kaiser. So it has that Kaiser detent, man. And that Kaiser micarta. So nice. This one's a little more premium. 154CM blade still. Liner lock action again. But man, snappy, snappy detent. So good. 
Pocket clip is reversible, deep carry. A little better blade still, obviously. You got stainless steel. Uh, this one was stainless also. These two were D2. But yeah, you're going to pay a little more for this one. This one runs about $75 on Blade HQ, maybe a little less on Amazon. I'll link it there if it is. But great action, man. Great action. Let's go over the specs on this one. Overall length on this one, 7.6 inches. Blade length 3.3 inches. And the weight is 3.44 ounces. Uh, this one is on uh, ball bearings, ceramic ball bearings. Skeletonized liners. Fantastic. Fantastic all the way around. Nothing to complain about on this knife at all. Got a little poon action going on there. Some excellent jimping too. Very ergonomic. Really like this knife. The O-Knife Beagle. Next up. We have another company, the Artisan Cutlery Ahab. Now, I probably wouldn't recommend going with this wood one. If you're going to seriously carry and use this knife, I'd recommend there's a G10 version because uh, the wood is eventually going to crack on me. It hasn't cracked yet, but this is a great value. These knives run about, on, on uh, Blade HQ, they're 70, but I think they're like 55 or 60 on Amazon. And uh, you're getting the uh, a AR RPM 9 blade still. You're getting titanium pocket clip and backspacer. Extremely lightweight. Extremely thin blade stock. stock super, super, super slicey. Just a fantastic knife for the money. Overall length on this one's 8 inches. Blade length's 3.75 inches. And the weight is only 3.1 ounces. I have a uh, disassembly video, I think it was. At some point in time, I, I showed you guys the liners on this knife, how skeletonized they are. It's impressive as hell. Amazing detent. Amazing detent. This one does not have a reversible pocket clip, though, so no lefty love on this one. Keep that in mind if you're a lefty. But really good Argos. Great carry in the pocket. Fantastic knife. I love this knife. This is a user for me, as you can tell by looking at it. Interesting thumb studs. You can put some O-rings around these, like people do in the TRM knives if you want to. But they did some jimping around the top right here, which gives you lots of traction, so you don't really need it. Just a great knife for the money. I love this knife. And their, their AR RPM 9 still is fantastic for a budget option. And it is stainless. So, And last but certainly, certainly not least, one of my favorite knives so far this year, the Kershaw Heist. D2 blade still. FRN scales. This, this one's on uh, uh, washers, but it has amazing washer action. This one is a crossbar lock. Feels very... Excuse me. Very similar to a bug out, uh, a newer bug out, right? Four bug outs broken in. That's how this feels out of the box. This one's broken in more now. Still not completely broken in. I've been carrying so many knives. I need to carry this one more often. This one's D2 still also. Super lightweight. Uh, overall length on this one's 7.47 inches. Blade length's 3.1 inches. And the weight on this one's only 2.8 ounces. And it has amazing action. This is much sturdier feeling than a bug out, by the way. Not flexy at all. Pocket clip is reversible. Deep carry. Um, great knife. I want to see more. Uh, what do they call their uh, access lock? The, uh, oh man, I can't remember what they call it. They have their own name for it, but it's fantastic. I hope they do a lot more knives using the crossbar lock because they did they knocked it out of the park for this one. And they have a couple other models that came out when this did. I haven't tried those yet, but I've watched videos. Everybody says those are fantastic also. And uh, I hope they keep making it, keep doing it. Let's make some in the USA, Kershaw. You can do it. You already make some. You can make uh, automatics in the USA. You can make this in the USA. Do it, Kershaw. You'll, it'll be a hit for you. All right, guys. That is going to wrap it up. Every one of these knives I would highly recommend. There's not a bad knife in the bunch. They are all well worth the money. They all have premium filling action. And uh, they won't break the bank. Uh, Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.